Joining us here on the Inland Sports Show, he is a water polo All-American. He's headed to CBU, and it's Rafa Martinez from Riverside Poly High School. And Rafa, first off, congratulations on the All-American honors. I'd imagine to be an All-American in this region for, for California, specifically Southern California, is a big deal because there's a lot of great water polo programs and, and athletes. What, is it, what does it mean to you to be an All-American? Uh, it's a it's a really big honor for me, especially coming from somewhere like Riverside, which isn't a big city in the water polo community. Uh, it's it's really an honor for me, and it's it's an honor to be to have my name up there with all the other great polo players in California. So you were the Ivy League MVP. You're taking your talents to California Baptist. So obviously you're you're a, a great player, but did you think that you could be an All-American or were you surprised or what were your what were your feelings when you first heard the news? Uh when I first heard the news, I was I was surprised. I didn't I didn't know it was going to it was going to be all that. I knew I knew I could be the MVP, but All-American that was definitely something a little crazy for me <laughs> and it's super exciting. Rafa, how did you get introduced to the sport of water polo when it all began? Did you have a sibling, your parents, someone else who played? I mean, did they just throw you in a pool and you loved it? Like, how did you how did you first start? Actually, the story's kind of funny. My mom played water polo when she was in college, and I did swim since I was little, and I did baseball, basketball, and other sports. But I never started playing polo until my freshman year. But I wanted to play football, but my mom told me, if I tried water polo my freshman year, she could let me try football sophomore year. But I ended up getting moved up to varsity freshman year, and then I just stuck it out from there. <laughs> so you grew up playing other sports, it sounds like, or at least you were interested in other sports. Yeah, for sure, other sports. So was it love at first sight? I mean, you started playing polo, and you're like, man, this is this is fun, and I'm pretty good at it. Maybe I should just stick with this. I mean, at the beginning, yeah, when we was just – when we had the COVID rules at practice, all we could do was was just shoot the ball and we couldn't have any contact. And I was pretty good at that because I could throw a baseball. But then in my first game, I was kind of getting destroyed in there. And it was a little wake up call for me. But then I went to club water polo and I was learning the basics of water polo from there. So despite all the success and all the accolades that you've had so far, would you say you're, you're still sort of a novice? You're still kind of learning the sport, um, even though, you know, You've got, again, these awards are great, and you're an All-American all that, but you're like, man, I, I still feel like I can still grow and, and improve so much more. No, yeah, I, I constantly feel like I'm still learning so much. And right now I'm at a new club out in Glendora, and I'm still learning so much every day out there with new coaches and and high competition. So you're taking your talents to CBU, and obviously California Baptist, big time Division One program. It's right in your own backyard in Riverside. Uh, what does it mean to you and your family too that you get to play for the Lancers and they get to see you, you know, play another at least four more years, you know, right here in Riverside? Uh, it, it means a lot to all of us. Um, it's super exciting to be able to have an opportunity to play Division One sports and Division One water polo, which I've fallen in love with the sport ever since I started playing. Yeah. So you played, it sounds like, baseball, and you, you've tried some other things along the way. How, how does water polo, in terms of physicality, intensity, the, the mental mindset you have to have to be in the pool and play that physical brand of this sport, I mean, how does it kind of stack up to some of the other sports that you've been around? It's, it's definitely the most physical sport I've ever played. I think maybe you can compare football to it, but you're in there and you're completely wrapped up with guys and and you got to be able to take a lot because there's stuff going on underwater that the refs don't see and you can't let it get to your head or else you get a, get off your game. Yeah, you got to stay dialed in and focus and not get rattled by uh, your opponent. Now, Billy Ermert's my boy. He's the baseball coach at Riverside Poly. Did any other coaches on campus say, Rafa, listen, you can do your water polo, and that's great, but we'd love to have you come out and you know do a little moonlighting and play baseball. Or, hey, maybe you could do football in the fall and then go back to water polo in the, you know, in the spring. Have, has any other coaches tried to you know get you to join their teams? Uh, a little bit. I walked past the foot, the new football coach at Poly one time, and he, he asked if I wanted to come play tight end for him. And I just <laughs> laughed and told him that Polo was in the fall. And 
And Billy Ermertz, he's, he's actually my English teacher this year. And I joke with him all the time about coming out to play baseball. <laughs> how, uh, how proud are your parents, especially your mom? Because you said your mom was a college water polo player that, you know, that not only did they introduce you to the sport, but you actually loved it. You enjoyed it. You wanted to pursue it. I mean, and now you've got a Division One scholarship, league MVP, All-American. I mean, do they get a lot of joy in seeing you have so much success in, in the sport of water polo? Yeah, they they get a lot of joy. My mom obviously water polo was a sport that she, that she played in her past, so watching me become so successful at it is a lot for her. And for my dad, water polo was honestly a new sport for him when I started playing my freshman year, so he's he's just loved every single minute of it since then. Now, Rafa, I've got two daughters and they're cheerleaders and one swim swims and I I don't know a whole lot about great technique and swimming I don't know anything about cheerleading but I go and I cheer them on and I'm all into it but your mom is a water polo player is, is does she know too much because I feel like sometimes as a parent not knowing like maybe like your dad like hey I don't know if he's doing a good job or not I'm just gonna cheer cheer him on and hope he does well but your mom obviously was in the sport you guys you know did she come home and say hey Rafa you know you could do this a little different or you know maybe look for this uh did she try to give you pointers or did she try to just kind of back off and just be supportive uh no she'll, she'll have some pointers here and there especially when I first started when I wasn't when I wasn't playing the game correctly, she had all these pointers for me, <laughs> and and my dad's just there cheering me on, and he'll tell me something if I throw the ball over the cage or something <laughs> like that. But it's all jokes. <laughs> so big picture, Rafa. Let's say this is after CBU. Like, what what are your big goals? Do you want to play professionally? Do you want to you know play in the Olympics? I mean, what are some of these big goals that you might have out there? Um. To be honest, I'm not quite sure yet. I mean, I think I think something interesting to me would be the Mexican national team to playing for them possibly. Um I'm I just want to see where where I'm at in my like third or fourth year and if I'm at a very high level, I think I'll definitely consider playing at a professional level. And right now it sounds like you're still loving it, right? I mean, you got introduced yeah. to the sport at Poly. You're going to CBU. And um, is it a sport? Like you said, you got to go out to Glendora for practice. If you don't love it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to wear on you after a while, right? Because I'm sure you're traveling a lot for practice. I'm sure those, you know, those club tournaments are all over the place. I mean, if you don't love it, um, you're not going to have success. Is that safe to say as well? Because you got to be all in. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I... Ever ever since I started playing, especially my sophomore year, when I when I started on the varsity team, I've just I've just been in love with the sport. At the end of each practice, I'm in the water for 20 more minutes, just shooting the ball until my shoulder hurts. And I just love it. <laughs> well, Rafa, listen, congratulations, Ivy League MVP. All-American, uh, the scholarship to CBU to play for the Lancers, all those things. Congratulations. And uh, I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to jump, us, jump on here on the Inland Sports Show, man. Congrats to you and your family. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for this opportunity. I appreciate it. You got it. That's Rafa Martinez here on the Inland Sports Show.